Okay, this is Karen O'Brien and today we're going to just cover how to download and access this self-help kit. So I just want to go over the materials uh, and, and how to get it set up so that you can train yourself on how to do all these uh, six tutorials. So again, this, uh, this webinar is intended for anyone just getting started with or this uh, this training package is intended for anyone just getting started with uh, Flow2D and QGIS, or anyone who kind of wants to make the switch from the GDS to QGIS, and you won't be um, sad that you did that because QGIS is really amazing at this point. It's just an excellent software, and it's really come a long way even just in the past year, uh, some of the wonderful things that it can do. So you definitely will not uh, regret moving over to this QGIS tool. Now, let's just give you a quick overview. So what I've done is I've just developed this self-help kit, which just takes um, this entire training materials and a training data set and, and puts it in a single place with a single li link. Uh, so let's start with how do you access it? So first off, since you are attending the class and attending the webinar, you're gonna be able to access this from this email that I'm gonna send you. And then eventually we'll put this on my website so that you can access it for free. But basically, you have to run some installers and um, and then you're ready to go. So important notes. If you don't have Flow2D installed already, if you're just getting started from scratch, make sure you log onto your computer with an admin account before you run the Flow2D Pro setup. Don't just use an admin password. Um, it doesn't, it, it sometimes leaves things off if you do that. Uh, if you're running Build 19, if you guys are already up and running with Flow2D Build 19, and you can tell that you're running Build 19 because in your program files x86 Flow2D folder, it'll say, the engine will say the year 2019 on it, the flowpro.exe. So if you already have Build 19, you don't have to run this installer. You can skip the Flow2D setup right here. If you guys are already... Uh, active subscribers and you're already pro users, you don't want to run the activator either. Just use your own activator. Uh, the activator is for people who just are doing the training, like are you doing it on your home computer or are you, you know, you're just learning it, you haven't purchased a subscription, that's, that's when you need this activator. Uh, let's see, so do run the documentation installer because it has all the new material for the class. You'll need all the material in the documentation installer. And then, and then anytime you download something from this, um, if, you're your, if you're your own admin, you're not, then you might want to right click on any of these things that you download before you extract them. Just right click on them and unblock them through the security menu or through the security window. I'll show you what I mean. It's pretty simple. So anytime you download something, uh, your computer might block it. And sometimes that can like disable some of the stuff that's inside the installer. So I, and if you're an admin, you probably don't need to do that, but okay. Uh, also, first thing you do after you get your download is just watch this setup video. It's only like 12 minutes. So just watch it and, and that'll show you how to do everything. And then you can follow along with the steps. So you'll need to install the uh, QGIS 3.18, that's, you need that QGIS 3.18 for this, don't use 3.14. And then the Flow2D installer, if you need it, the activator, if you need it, the documentation installer, for sure you need to run that because it's all the new material, and then the updated plugin. So the video is gonna install a different plugin, this video, so just ignore it and install this one. Uh, it's pretty simple. Now, I have some very basic step-by-step -step simple installation instructions, but the full installation uh, setup is in the video. It's very simple to run through that. And I recommend if you're not admin or you want to just do this training and you want to have full control over computer, just do it at home. You know, do it on your home computer. Otherwise, you have to get your admin to do it for you if you're doing it on your work computers, which is fine. It's perfectly fine for your admin to do this. Okay, so I'll minimize this. So at the end of the class, once this video uploads, I'll send this out to you all. And then if you are watching this video and you haven't, you didn't attend the class, you know, you might just need to let me know and I can send that video to you. Okay, so let's 
take a quick, so once you run all through all of these setups, then Flow2D is ready to go on your computer. Let me show you where it is. So what you'll get mostly, you know, you get the Flow2D Pro folder with all of the, uh, every time you run the Build19 installer, you're gonna get all this stuff anyway. This is your engine and, um, and there's some other data, some other executables in here you might use throughout the class. And also you'll get the Flow2D documentation folder. So just one quick note, um, in here, your plugin documentation comes from here, the plugin documentation installer. So what you really want is these workshop lesson guidelines. And this is the file that is up to date. So if you want to uh, just click a link to get you to the first lesson, that's perfectly fine. And then we have the, the procedure and then the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything. And then also we have the bookmarks so you can quickly navigate this document. And we've tested it over the past few weeks to make sure that that document is ready to go. Also, the next thing that is important is this one right here. So this is Flow2D example project. So basically when you install Flow2D, it gives you all of our example projects. So you're gonna see like maybe 20 files in here, but you're only gonna use these ones. So these flow QGIS tutorials. So I, what I do is I put everything else in this folder called miscellaneous. And the reason I do that is so that you guys don't accidentally get into my GDS lessons. Because my GDS lessons look a lot like the QGIS lessons, but if you start putting stuff in there, you get lost. So stay out of the miscellaneous examples, you know, unless you need it. Stay out, just stay out of it. Okay, so QGIS tutorials are the only ones we're gonna work with and everything is self-contained. So don't move this stuff, don't move it. When you're trying your lessons, just leave it here. And when you start your lesson and you're going to build your first QGIS project, it that, one, that QGIS project stays in here. Don't move it because you might break the path. If you, if you start copying it, you'll break the path and then you have to get tech support to, to learn how to fix your path. But the document tells you all that stuff. So when you run your installers, let them go to the default location and don't move this package because it's set up to run in this exact location. Now, where is this location? On your computer, all Flow2D goes to C drive, users, public. So watch this, C drive, users, public, public documents, Flow2D Pro documentation. And then everything is right here. And that's in the email. I tell you that in the email too. Okay. Um, now, once you kind of get started on this, you might find that you got that you're stuck. So what I have for you is a video of every single lesson, step-by-step -step video of every single lesson. So you can download and watch. Um, I'm going to sort these by name. Lesson one through lesson six. Yeah, the email hasn't been sent. Thank you, Charlie, I haven't sent it. I'm gonna upload this video to the short course folder and or, and then I'm gonna send it, or sorry, to the self-help the self -help folder. Okay, uh, completed lessons. If you get stuck on a lesson and you break it, you have a couple of options if you break a lesson. One, you can start over from scratch, but once you get up through about lesson four, that's not really gonna be very much fun. So if you break a lesson and you need to reset something, I have all of the completed lessons. So for example, if I broke something during lesson four, I could just go back and get lesson three and extract it into my lesson one folder and and that would reset me so that I could restart lesson four. Now, the first lesson tells you ex exactly how to do that. It tells you how to work with recovery data. So the first lesson step, lesson one, part two, is how to create and utilize recovery data with QGIS. So if you see here, you have these two, QGZ and a GPKG file. You can compress those and save them 
and you know at the end of each lesson you can compress those into a zipped file and then just rename that zipped file like lesson one complete or lesson one part one complete or whatever you know that's how i do that and then if you if you made a mistake or you corrupted your these two files in any way let me zoom in here a little bit because you probably can't see that very well but these two files this lesson one gpkg and qgz this is what builds your flow 2d um, uh, system and so these are kind of the only two things that you really need and they stay in lesson one don't take them out of lesson one because they are path dependent which is you know pretty typical for uh, uh, for GIS programs and geo packages and geo databases and whatnot they're path dependent so if you move them they'll lose you know the data that you have loaded into them and it's pretty easy to get that data back but if you never leave move them out of here you don't have to get them back so if you mess up and you need uh, one of my lessons or you didn't compress your own lesson at the end of one of the lessons you can come back here and you can get any of those and continue with the lessons the whole course should probably take you about one day uh, about six hours i would say now if you get stuck i also have the training videos so it shows you how to do the whole lesson like this is the entire lesson one and this is the entire lesson two this is the entire lesson three uh, but at the end of each lesson i also go over what you did and what you built and so I forgot to put the data files in there. So this is lesson, the end of lesson three. You can see the lesson three data files. Okay, let's go back here. Self-help kit. Oops, hang on. I did not mean to do that. Okay, that's self-help kit. I must have hit something else. And that's basically the entire training package. And so if you need, if you get stuck, I would say if you get stuck or you do something wrong or you mess up, just start that lesson over, especially lesson one. Just if you get stuck in lesson one, just start the whole thing over. Just delete the data and start it over. Um, but if you get really stuck and you can't move forward, send me an email. I can typically just send you a quick reply back on how to do something. And let's see, and that is pretty much it. So I said this would take about 15 minutes. So what's going to happen now is that I will take my, um, I, I will process this video and upload it to the self-help kit to kind of like the getting started uh, video. And then I will update the links in my email. So again, this will be the email that you get and you don't have to ask for it because you registered for the class. I'm going to send this email directly to you. So if you don't see this email like by the end of the day, because we'll probably, I don't know if we'll, I might send them to you one by one, or I might send them to you uh, through ShareFile or through, I'm um, sorry, through MailChimp. And so you all get them at the same time. So if you don't see it by the end of the day, let me know and I'll send it to you directly. And that's it. Uh, so thank you for attending. Um, and again, if you have any questions about this or you get stuck during the training, you know, just send me an email and I can, I can typically fix anything in this lesson one through six. All right, I'm going to stop the recording right now.